the former uh, Prime Minister of Finland, who incidentally, Alex, is looking to join, to jump back into politics, announcing he's running to be president of Finland. He joins me from Helsinki uh, now. Alex, we'll come to your political ambitions in just one second. Um, the, the issue of the grain, I mean, getting a grain deal back on track has to be a priority, surely. Uh, it sure is. Uh, I think it shows quite evidently that everything in today's world can be weaponized and Putin and Russia have once again weaponized in this particular case grain breaks basically trying to create the illusion as if this was the fault of the rest of the world when it is actually Russia's fault. I think it's a very serious game because we you're basically playing with the nutrition of other human beings uh, as an instrument of war. You are well familiar with, obviously, from Finland, the relationship that you have to have with, say, Russia and the difficulties. And you're also familiar with the situation from when you've been here in Mongolia, caught between Russia and Finland, uh, sorry, Russia and China. The reality is there's no answer. It's a geopolitical mess. Well, obviously, the situation of both countries is geopolitically quite sensitive. Uh, for us, uh, I can only speak for us as such, uh, I think the situation is actually right now very stable because we obviously have a independent uh, and uh, large uh, armed force. And on top of that, we are NATO members. And Russia at the moment is actually quite busy on the Ukrainian front. Uh, the situation in Mongolia, I would assume, uh, is different. When I was in Mo Mongolia, for the first time, I was a minister of trade and we're doing actually some export promotion. It was very much in the mining industry, so I can sympathize with the hoods that you're moving in. Um, Alex, why do you want to be president of Finland? I mean, you, 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 you've given us a brief resume there. You've done trade, you've done foreign, you've been the PM. Um, you're now enjoying a, or you have been enjoying a life of academia. Why jump back into the pit? Yeah, I mean, sure, I was in government for eight years and, and felt very privileged to have served. And the plan was never really to come back. And I, I did leave seven years ago. But to be very honest, I think Putin and Russia's attack on Ukraine uh, changed my personal mindset. I felt very strongly that. Finland was under a threat and we're now looking uh, at a world of disorder and that disorder I hope that some of my foreign policy expertise uh, and my connections and networks uh, could come in handy but of course these presidential races you know they're a long haul uh, we're five six months away from the elections so we'll see how things develop but I felt that I sort of had the duty to do this for the country and uh, I hope that my I would say good connections to the United States, uh, to Europe, to many other capitals around the world, and my expertise could be of use in this particular situation. Right. Um, the, the the role of president in Finland has certain very distinct duties and responsibilities, and they are different, if you will, to the political Hurley and Burley of being prime minister. Um, you'll have to be the great and the good rather than the down and the dirty. Yeah, definitely. There's a big difference. So probably for the audience that doesn't follow Finnish politics very closely, the prime minister is in charge together with his or her government uh, of uh, European policy and domestic policy. <laughs> and the predicament of the president of the republic is to deal with foreign policy, albeit together uh, with the government. So the role in many ways right. is very different. So you can basically say right now, we have a prime minister that deals with the EU and a president who deals with NATO. So it's very much about foreign and security policy. And he's also actually uh, uh, the, the ultimate commander in chief of the armed forces. So there's very much a foreign policy and security dimension in what the president does. Uh, and it does make the job quite different. So it's nothing like you would have in the US nor in France. It's sort of a hybrid. Right. Alex, thank you. You've always been a good friend of this programme. We will watch this election 
uh, closely and of course we will uh, as, we, as you would expect from CNN we'll also be talking to your opponents as we get closer to the date. Alex Stubb joining me uh, from Helsinki. Just look